snap we're back with another Marvel Snap video as today, ladies and gentlemen, today we're finally going to showcase a Baron Zemo deck and not just any Baron Zemo deck, but the Baron Zemo deck that I used to get to infinite. Now I say this, it's not an amazing deck, like it, it has it has a lot of uses, but it is my first attempt at Baron Zemo. Like, I, I want to be genuine about it. Like. Uh, the reason why this deck found success is because I uh, fine-tuned it for the hot location. The hot location of Shuri's lab, like, hit me right at the, like, as soon as I started my climb. Because in case you guys don't know, like, I'm, I'm from Europe, right? So the season change happens really late for me. So I basically don't do anything on the actual season uh, change date, and I start climbing the day, uh, the day after. And the day after the hot location was, was live... <laughs> And I had to deal with that. Like there was so many decks that were just like super capitalizing on it. And as a hot location, Shuri's lab, because sometimes you can kind of like ignore the hot location. If it's like a Camp Lahai or uh, any sort of location that's not like particularly impactful, right? Or at least not game deciding. But Shuri's lab is not one that you can ignore. Like it's just, it's going to be relevant. Destroy is going to be just on steroids essentially and there were also a lot of like kitty pride decks running around they were using shuri into kitty pride and just getting these like 80 power kitty prides ready uh maybe even copying them sometimes with niko minoru like all this all this obscene shit so we're just like okay you know what we're gonna do we're gonna play into that as well and we're gonna mill the opponent we're gonna strip the deck away from them so that they have nothing and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Having magic was really important because we could get rid of Shuri's lab after we have done, uh, we've been done using it ourselves, which is really neat. And we're playing stuff like Ghost Spider because, uh, you know, of the hot location specifically, we would be able to play something like a Gladiator on Shuri's lab, have him get 16 power, and then move him out of the way and have those stats actually matter a lot more in a location where, you know, the doubling isn't happening. As then, we have uh, Yandu, Cable, Baron Zemo, Gladiator. These are our mill cards. And of course, Maximus as well. But Maximus is more there to like kind of like capitalize on the fact that we have milled them and then we get to play two energy, six power with no consequence. The idea behind this deck is strip away the deck and then, uh, you know, dump the hand with YOLO Octopus. I got a new variant that I'm really, really uh, happy about. And uh, yeah, just basically limit their plays. Um, I already have like an idea with Baron Zemo that I'm, I'm more excited about, but I did want to share you, with you guys like a deck that, um, you know, features the card, right? Like I don't want to take forever in doing so, but I, 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 I'm, I've made the decision to like not rush my decks with new cards coming out because um, basically, you know, it takes time to fully understand the card and fully uh, get a proper deck list out. And I, I care about quality more than quantity. I, I know I should probably just be rushing these things uh, for views and stuff, but this is just how I'm gonna choose to do things. So uh, hopefully you guys appreciate it because like I said, uh, I'm sharing this deck, but I'm also already letting you know that I have a spicier Baron Zemo variant, uh, like a, a deck that actually I think is better coming to you soon. Don't take that out of context. We're playing Red Hulk, and I got this sick-ass variant. Um, I wasn't sure about getting it first, but then I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Let's let's do it. Red Hulk is um, definitely shaping up to be the best card uh, that has been available through the uh, the spotlight. The spotlight, uh, the weekly spotlight thing. I, I, I don't know how you you label it exactly, but basically, it, it is the best. Uh, since Mockingbird. Um, I argue it's much better than Mockingbird. Uh, Red Hulk is on a tier of its own. Uh, Red Hulk is honestly a little bit broken. Like I, I was reluctant to say so at first because at the end of the day, it's a six drop, right? And six drops have never been particularly overpowered in Marvel Snap, except for the, the blob, right? Which was specific to like an archetype. Um, they have been fairly balanced, you know? Magneto has been at, at the top of uh, six drop usage for forever. And that didn't really seem like it was changing, but now, now that Red Hulk is coming down, like the fact that he grows on turn six as well, the fact that he grows on board, meaning that turn six is also in, in, uh, factored in, makes this guy like super easily like reach like infinite levels of power. If you're playing magic, that is the true home for him to shine because having that one extra turn really just makes a huge difference like he just becomes so big that he kind of like single-handedly wins you a location and that is 
that is insane, right? We have a deck that is capitalizing on Hope Summer's ramping. We have uh, Vision here because of Shuri's lab. But I want you to pay attention to Dr. Octopus, Red Hulk. Like these two alongside Baron Zemo in a mill shell, a lot of stonks there. Red Hulk just fits so many decks that want a strong turn six play are gonna be playing Red Hulk. So if you have some spotlight keys available, you really need to prioritize Red Hulk is what I'm trying to say. Like I'm gonna make use of this deck tech to kind of like get that message across. I understand it's shitty for them to print such a like really strong card and people who don't get it. Cause this time, like we're gonna notice, like I'm not gonna lie, like people who don't have Red Hulk are going to struggle against people who do. Uh, people who have Red Hulk are going to be able to build more decks that are actually good. And it's just gonna be a card that um, people are already saying it's definitely gonna get nerfed. Uh, we'll, I'll, I'll wait and see because we've seen stuff like, you know, during my absence, thank God, but stuff like three energy Loki being around for months and that wasn't changed for a long time. Uh, I, I don't think they're gonna be rushing with uh, a nerf to Red Hulk. I think for the very least for a month, this card is gonna remain the, the way it is. And then we'll see what happens. I don't think it's within their interest to really kill the card ever. So I, I actually believe it's a safe purchase, I think. Um, but honestly, you know, not everybody can get him. You know, keys aren't cheap and I, I, I get it. And if you're frustrated about it, I understand you. But that's, you know, that's the game we play. <laughs> that's Marvel Snap, baby. So yeah, Red Hulk stonks really high. And instead of just like doing a video just to say that, I'll say it in today's intro. As uh, that is the deck list right there. Again, I, I have a lot more to offer with Baron Zemo. Um, this was a specific deck tailored for a specific scenario. Uh, but I do want to share the games anyways, but stay tuned uh, in the next few days You're gonna be seeing a really really cool Baron Zemo deck that uh, plays more into the milling strategy And I'm really excited to share that one. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Marvel staff content Hope you enjoy today's games I'll see you guys tomorrow and the, the, the problem with Shuri's lab being a hot location is it's really awful for climbing Maybe I should have I should have like actually try harded Before this hot location was a thing because it's gonna be a, an obnoxious obnoxious climb Cause Shuri's, Shuri's lab just, just like really makes games one-sided. It's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna play Cable here. Technically I want them to draw, to like mill them. But we haven't actually, like, besides Yondu, we don't have any other milling components, so we're actually going to try to fight for this. We can always bail on it with, with magic. If only there was a mode where Hot Location is disabled. Yeah, no, but I, I, I want to get to infinite. Like, I, I want to get, I want to, I, I need to get the climb done with. So we'll, we'll climb in whatever environment it is. And I, I, still pref I still prefer ladder, guys. Like, I, again, I don't want to take away anybody's, like, you know, if you enjoy Conquest, that's that's great. Like, I'm really happy for you. I think it's a shit format. But if you enjoy it, good for you. I'm gonna go Gladiator on the right. It's an early Zemo. Thank you. Arigato. Um... See, this is like, bro, this fucking RNG, dude. Let's, um, let's magic. Because if we top deck Baron Zemo, which we will, we can take away their last card, which is important. We have a good place to develop you in. How much energy we got here? We got... Oh, why does it say I have Baron Zemo? Why am I even using this fucking tracker? Okay, so five versus six. Can we, um... I mean, I know what they're going to do. Which is the same we're going to do. Omega low.
guys, um, playing, like, I can't, I can't, like, okay, so my entire chat was saying to go Red Hulk on the left. If I go Red Hulk on the left, guys, I lose the tiebreaker. We were blessed with Vision's eight power here to, like, just make it so that, like, this is so clutch. So clutch. Because we, we barely win the tiebreaker. Like, we're, we're talking about, this is a three-point differential here. But we had to do it this way. We had to, like, there's no, there's no way they're not playing Shang-Chi on the left. I was kind of, like, paranoid. It's like, man, what if they do something different? But it's just like, come on, come on. You know they're going to do that. I'm feeling, I'm feeling dangerous. I'm thinking about challenging his entire deck to a duel. Hey, yo, what the fuck is this Dr. Octavir? Like, pretty cool, huh? Okay, so no Shang-Chi in the middle. All right, ladies and gentlemen. What could go wrong? What could ever go wrong? I have, I, guys, I have a good feeling about this. Guys, I'm having second thoughts. I'm having not so good feelings about this. It's technically better to gladiator mid. Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. No Shuri. No Elsa. Okay, that's still, okay, so far so good, so far, guys, so far so good. No Forge. And no Cosmo. I had no doubts. I, I just I just want to I just want to make it clear I had no doubts. Snap. Ladies and gentlemen, you're not ready for this. Nice vision, bro. There's no reason to Doc Ock. They have a lot of cards in hand and we're just gonna give them the plays. Like, why not vision ourselves? What is that effect? So if I move vision here, this is 20, this is 30 points. This is 30 points. Worst case scenario, 30 points. We have um, 30 points, 38, uh, 44, wait, no, what? 30 points, 38, no, this is not it. This is so not it. No, I have to fight for the middle properly. And that means I need to Red Hulk. And I, I, I need to bank on the fact that they're going to move that vision away. What's the last card? Oh, God. What a beautiful, beautiful read. What a beautiful win. There we go. <laughs> mm.
We're a cable in the middle. Because Shuri's lap could be on the right. Okay. I mean... This is just safer, because with Baron Zemo, God knows what pops out. Guys, guys, do we, do we Maximus Yondu? Or, 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 what if we go Spider mid? That's 21 points. <laughs> oh, what a sexy ass win. <laughs> Victory. Like the Magneto setup on the right was correct, but I, I feel like um, I banged too much on, on drawing vision when I didn't actually draw vision. God, I, I need to stop taking like certain draws for granted. I need to think about my game plan a bit better. Let's go Yandu into Hela. Um, you know, if Yandu gets removed, like, it's not the end of the world, and it can discourage the opponent from developing there. Let's go Hope Summers. We're gonna play Gladiator into Ghost Spider, and the reason why we're doing this is because we are expecting our opponent to um, to actually get rid of Yandu. Like, there is a chance that they develop into Hela, trying to get rid of this body. And um, I want to punish that. If not, like, we have a lot of points here. All in the middle all of a sudden. What the fuck? I'm gonna preemptively. Yeah. Oh yeah.
We're gonna Dr. Octopus on the right to um, to try to clog up this space because I can I can actually Taskmaster into here if I don't top deck something like Red Hulk. I can Taskmaster the Maximus. I don't want to Dr. Octopus here because Jeff is already here. I, I really want to clog them. Look at that. Okay, that's a super Jeff. What a Chad. What a motherfucking Chad. Mantis could be good with this location. She could be. I, I I get the point of it. Like you're copying. Like yeah, honestly, like that's something. When we, when we make it to infinite, we could we could try something spicy with that. I just I just want to get there, because that guy said to stop yapping and to make it to infinite. Like why the fuck are you not infinite yet? You fraud. Scar is pretty good. Let's get Pixel Cable in there. Snap. I'm gonna snap. They have nine cards left. We have a lot of tools here. And he goes into Shuri's lap, which is great. What are we going to do? How do we reach these keys? Well, we're going to Gladiator. We're going to Gladiator. And then... We're going to Ghost Spider here. Next turn, we have uh, six energy. Let's go with that. Oh, so Scar has been nullified. Oh, Blue Marvel! Get the fuck out of here! I'm gonna clog him with a good old Titania clock play. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We snapped already, right? Yeah, we did. Yo, Scar would have been so free here. Mobius actually did a lot. And now... We move Vision here. We have Red Hulk here, and we take our girl back. Yes, that feels pretty good. Yeah. I mean, Pixel Cable into Shuri's Lab is very tempting, but... I want to make use of these buffs elsewhere because Shuri's lab is very vulnerable to techs. And we just took their kitty pride, baby. And this Red Hulk just keeps on growing and growing and growing and growing, baby. What do we do here? Do we, do we, do we, like, take part in that, like, kitty pride? Like, do we try to do that shit? Again, I'm going to spread out my power. Maximus is a lot. <laughs> 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 
but my gladiator died because theirs got buffed with the Wakandan embassy. So the, the gladiator goes to Wakanda and now, and now he's just like stronger. What? Well, that's dumb. Um, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Where do I play as Yondu? Let's just play as Yondu here, actually. And let's reinforce the middle. No Shang-Chi! And we're getting something big here. Okay, so there's no Shang-Chi. There's no, there's no Kitty Pride either. You know what that means. YOLO! L louder? YOLO! <laughs> I think this is the play. There's no Shang-Chi, so Dr. Octopus and Tashuri's lab is just tremendous. What the fuck? Nice Valkyrie, son. <laughs> Victory. Really? Like, we're just setting up a good Baron Zemo, but sometimes the Baron Zemo is just bad? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of over this deck. But it's it's good into this, this the Shuri's lab, but I'm just kind of over it. It's definitely not... It's not a great deck. But it does play well into the hot location. Tired of Shuri Lab, to be honest, so boring. Uh, yeah, that makes two of us. That makes two of us. We don't kill it because of Kyra. They can't move anything here yet, so what we can do... No reality stone.
Can we not pull Shang-Chi? Oh, yeah. Should have snapped? Yeah, yeah. The situation where they if they pull the fucking Shang-Chi, we lose, right? Like, yeah. We can't we can't snap here. We don't want to lose to a Shang Chi, so we're gonna play Red Red Skull Red Hulk here. Maximus here, and then we're gonna we're gonna go spider Maximus out of the way. Yep. How many hours remaining for this location? Oh god, um, I think uh, two hours and 20 minutes. Aren't you having fun? Lol. I'm not gonna play anything on that rickety bridge. I'm gonna make him like they're gonna be winning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, give me give me the juice. Omega lol. Omega dead. Omega dead. Omega dead. Omega dead. Nah, I may as well get the eight cubes out of them. How do we get the eight cubes out of them? We have to Shang-Chi Maximus at the very end. We have too much power here. <laughs> boom so so here it is boom no boom 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 and that's how you steal eight cubes from a bot Imagine Elias. Um, guys, we 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 actually beat Elias. Can, can you guys actually imagine properly? If they Elias, it's three points, three points here, which ties with my Colossus here. Okay, and then I just like win the tiebreaker by like a million. Guys, um, can you do me a favor? Can we um, can we act like uh, that was a, a person I just beat to get to infinite? All right, for 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 the for the potential YouTube video, and we got him! What an epic victory, right, guys? Wow, amazing! Show some hype chat, some hype in the chat for getting to infinite. Hey, 
Guys, how, how cool, how cool was that game? Mm.